As the BBC reported, at least three towers were affected by arson in Birmingham, Liverpool and their suburbs. Along the way, videos with burning objects appeared on the internet and the British authorities have already dubbed the ideas that caused the arsons, dangerous nonsense. In fact this theory appeared at the dawn of distribution, and the reason was geographical, shortly before the outbreak in Wuhan, where the virus arose, they began to establish a 5G network. Experts quickly debunked these rumors, so no one gave them any special meaning. But by the end of March, when the virus had already affected tens of thousands of Britons, including the country's prime minister, the local tabloids seemed to have decided to revive this theory. On March 24, the Daily Star published an article written in the best traditions of bad journalism, the author simply decided to confine herself to one point of view, without even thinking about somehow checking it with the help of specialists. The material was entitled, Coronavirus, There are concerns that 5G networks accelerate the spread of the disease, among the sources there were the opinions of two, activists. One of which said that, a lot of research confirms the negative effects of radiation from electromagnetic waves on the human immune system. However, the girl did not specify what kind of research. The author also referred to the controversial work of scientists from Northeastern University in Boston on electromagnetic pulses that bacterial DNA can exchange, including through radio waves in the AM and FM bands. Its idea is that bacteria are able to talk to each other at a distance. Based on this assumption, participants in various social media groups somehow concluded that the virus is thereby capable of either being transmitted generally through the air through high-frequency data networks, or at least choosing its victims. But, firstly, the study at Boston University was about bacteria, not viruses, but these are all different things, and secondly, the legs of that work grow from Luke Montagnier theories about teleporting DNA, rejected by the scientific community. Montagnier, who received the Nobel Prize for detecting HIV, has been called a quack in recent years because of such studies. The Daily Star article did not go unnoticed, soon there were videos on UTUBE that developed the theses presented in it, and on Facebook groups that united those who believed in this theory. And as a result, burnt towers.